I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a canopic jar for a mummy to hold the mummy's lungs. This is the name and it is the head of a baboon. These were guardians for the organs. Okay? We're going to take three fingers from the top in the center and put a dot. And from that dot we're going to draw a curve line out and another curve line out and over. Come back to the dot, curve line out, curve line out, over and connect. Come back to the left and right about here we're just going to draw a curve line out and connect on the left and a curve line out and connect on the right. Come on the inside of that space and let's mimic that line with another curve line on the left and another curve line inside on the right. Come back to the inside space and we're just going to draw a curve line over, connect, and we're going to draw right here in the center a curve line down, curve line up, connect. Right here in the center of that space we draw a little straight line down, curve line in, I mean curve line out to the left and curve line out to the right. Come back inside this space and let's just draw a straight line on the left and a straight line on the right. Come underneath, draw a straight line, curve line, swoop on the left, straight line, swoop on the right. Come inside the left and add a little half circle, and on the right, another little half circle. Okay? Come back to the left, and we're just going to draw a curve line down on the left, and a curve line down on the right. Come back to the left and add a slightly curved line up and over. Come back to the left again. Straight diagonal down on the left. Straight diagonal down on the right. Come back to the left. Let's add a little curved line. Connect. Come back up here to this space on the center and let's just draw one, two straight lines. And now let's add one, two, three straight lines. Come on the right hand side and we're going to draw one, two curved lines. Draw it again. One, two curved lines. Now on the left, one, two curved lines. One more if you can fit it. One, two curved lines. Okay? So I don't forget, I'm going to color in my eyeballs and my nose right now so I don't forget to color it in later. Okay? Black. Alright. Let's see how we are going to color this baboon. Okay, I'm keeping the same color palette I did on my other three jars. This is the last one if you've been following. And I'm going to start off with coloring the insides of my eyeballs orange. And I'm going to color this section of his face orange and this section orange. Okay? because they are a set of jars that go inside uh, with the mummy. Okay, now I come in and with my either light brown or tan, I'm coloring the inside of my ears, I'm coloring my face, the inside of my ears, I'm going to come down and I'm going to color 
in between my stripes. So these are all going to be that light brown or that tan. And again, this is so that I'm using the same color palette so that all of my jars go together. Then with my brown, regular brown, I'm going to do the outside of his ears, brown, both sides. You'll do a better job than me. I'm going to come in and color my stripes brown and this top section, these parts brown and then the big bottom part of my jar I'm going to do brown. On my baboon, the only little part pop of color is this baby rectangle I'm going to do blue green. Okay. So this baboon, he is the canopic jar that is holding the lungs of the mummy. All right, let's see what he looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my canopic jar with the baboon head all colored in that holds the lungs of the mummy. Now I was just thinking it would be kind of cool to cut these out and put them on maybe a stiffer piece of cardboard or poster board and have them stand up. Okay, bye-bye.